Moving from tactile to sonified graphs. So before we made our own sounds for a graph, remember? Oh, you're gonna upload an app that makes sounds. You can draw um you can draw the line on the screen. Yeah, so basically I'm entering an equation, so now I can make that diagonal line on a Desmos calculator. Okay, and then when this makes the graph, we can actually make the computer make the sound for us. What do you think of that? Okay. Okay. Sorry, I just forgot the shortcut. Um, yeah, you forgot the I shortcut. totally forgot. I had to look it up. Okay, here we go. I'll turn our volume back up. And you know what? Miss Ting is also experimenting here, so we'll just see if it works, okay? Look it up. I did look it up. And Google's our, our friend here, so looking up everything. Okay. Alt E, audio trace up, use arrow keys to navigate, to hear the graph, press H to disable audio trace, press Alt plus T, expression one zero, enter. Okay, did you catch the keyboard command to turn audio trace on and off? Oh, H. Ooh, H was to hear it, but we have to first turn on audio trace. H. I want you to hit, listen for the command to turn audio trace on and off, okay? Ready? Alt T, audio trace up. Alt T. You got it, Alt T. So is it on right now? Let's see. Oh, wait, no. okay, no. Audio trace is on. Alt M is minimized. It is. Would you like to hit the T, the H to hear the graph? Want to? Um, okay. Okay. You're trying to focus 40. Let me get that out of your way. Thank you very much, mister. Okay. H. Mm -hmm. H, play and graph. Hmm. Wait, did you hear how it went up? Hey, I'm gonna do it. Okay, beautiful. H, play and graph. Wait, 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 wait hmm. what sound was that? Was it? Mm -hmm. wait, how come it before? wasn't? How come it wasn't the? <laughs> so, I think the computer makes a more sophisticated sound than, than we do. <laughs> well, I can do it. <laughs> Hit the H one more time and I want you to hear how the background noise changes, okay? H, play and grab. Oh, no, in the um in the last half before the graph stopped um the yeah stops yeah uh huh but why good question why so you know how like on the graphs that we looked at your graph started at zero zero mm -hmm. but it's actually possible for the line to go into the negative area of the graph and that's like off the chart that we, we looked at it wasn't even on the chart that we looked at. So there's a portion, the portion that without the background noise, that's the part that we actually looked at that was in the zero, zero, where the line is going diagonally. Wait, but I have a question. Mm -hmm. Can you make the line um, like in a different shape? Oh, yeah. How do you do that? Okay, let me, let me have the computer again. Let me show you. Um, but like, can you describe? Oh, I'm going to actually make you a different kind of graph that does not go in the screen. Well, can you tell me how after? Expression list complementary region. Expression one. Yes or no? After superscript two, baseline. Okay, ready? Mm -hmm. Here you go. Push your H. We need a new graph. I think I know. Oh. Oh, I know it's going to be. Wait, I actually. I think I know. H, quote, H, quote. Oh, whoops. Add slider for quote, H, quote. I don't know. How about that? Black, quote, H, enter, expression 2, colon, X, expression 1, colon. Okay, let's hit Alt T to make sure audio trace is on. Okay. Alt T. Graph paper showing one graph. Graph paper audio trace on. Use arrow keys to navigate. Then you're the age. Play a graph. 
That's it. Mm hmm. Do you want to hear it again? Yeah, you got it. Well, you started actually not at zero. That's right. Listen, let's listen again. Stage, play a track. <laughs> How do you imagine the scratch looks by the way it sounds? Um, a big, uh, a big, giant, fat eel. Yes, that's right. That's exactly how but it how sounds. But how you make the graph? Isn't that cool? You could tell the shape of the graph just by how it sounded. I know, I know, I know, I know but, but how do you make the graph? Oh, this is an equation. The y equals x squared. And it makes the parabola, which is basically a u type of shape. But you'll learn about that like, way later. What's a hyperbola? 